welcome back to the channel. Um, instead of me doing my normal Sunday baking video that I would normally just do, I thought I would kind of do a spend the day with me vlog instead. Um, so that will be included within this vlog. Um, there are a few things I need to do today, just a general tidy around the house. Um, my husband has requested a rose dinner so we can get that done together. Um, and yeah, just spend the day with me really on a chilled out th Thursday, chilled out Sunday. Um, I guess first things first is sorting him out his breakfast actually because he'll be wanting it. So because it's Sunday, um, Minty is quite weird in the fact that if my husband does his food, he just won't touch it. I don't know if it's because Elliot doesn't do it the correct way for him. I don't know. So if I know I'm not going to be in the house the next day, I do two sets of food, one for today, one for tomorrow. They normally keep till the next day, no, which is fine. So let's make his majesty his food. This is going to be real boring information if you don't have a parrot this just isn't probably going to be interesting to you but nevertheless this is day in the life of me he has his own special chopping board because you know if we're prepping things with like onions or mushrooms stuff like that it's toxic to him and obviously even though you clean it there is a chance that stuff is still in the board so he has his own designated chopping board so so it's only used for his veggies so nothing bad happens to him and then all of his food we put in these tupperware tubs um for anyone that has an animal that requires a lot of fresh fruit and veg um i'm guessing if you have like a newer fridge it has all the fancy tech to make things last longer but if you're like custom rent um you don't have that luxury so we found that putting all his fruit and veg in tupperware tubs um drastically improve the shelf life um which if you know if you have to feed them fresh fruit and veg every day it does add up quickly if you're having to constantly replace it um so definitely recommend tupperware tubs and actual good tupperware tubs that like suction down um so yeah he today has some apple he's got red grape and green grapes some butternut squash some sweet corn courgette green beans and then I've just nicked a carrot from the fridge so he can have a bit of carrot as well. And then because it is the weekend, he also gets his special Katie mix, which is this stuff. Um, I don't know why they say that you can feed them just that. Um, I don't think that would give them the nutrients that they need. Um, we used to give it to him every day, but he would only just be eating that stuff. Um, so we've limited just the weekends. Um, all special occasions, you know, a little like treat breakfast for him. So he'll get some of that, so he'll be happy. And then he also has like nuts and stuff, but he won't get any of them today because he had quite a few yesterday. So let's get chopping. <laughs> he has got his nice veggie mixes one of them just adds a teeny tiny handful of katie and then the other one's just going to get clean filmed and popped in the fridge and that'll be all good until tomorrow morning for him to have Minty, come and just like that he's such a good boy he said hi to the camera yeah, come on then. Water. Up, up. Kiss. Good boy. Go on then. Good job, buddy. Good job. And that is him all satisfied, so now we can actually get on with the day. Although he will want his game grumps on, so I have to do that first. Right, I'm just going to close the door in case you can hear him. With his game grumps on. Um, it's literally like having a toddler. Uh, if I don't put like his TV on or have him fed uh, while I tidy the house, he will just be screeching the whole entire time. Um, so it's like having a toddler, but he's all happy and satisfied now. 
there's not too much washing up to do um, we've actually done a good job to try and keep on top of it um, and yet we don't have a dishwasher I am dishwasher so it's just gonna be packing away the stuff that has been out to dry wash up the stuff we have and then we can get into the baking portion because they take quite a long time because I need them to cool completely before I can then decorate them um, so the sooner I get them cooked the sooner they'll be called and then we can decorate them. I'm going to see if Ellie wants to decorate them with me because they are Valentine's Day type cookies. Um, so we'll see how he feels after work about doing that and being on camera. Um, I suspect it will be a no, but that is fine. Um, right, so let's get tidying the house. <laughs> up has been done I apologize my head is cut off right now um, so the recipe we are doing today is one I've done it's not on the channel but it's one that I've done for Christmas um, and I'm just modifying it ever so slightly to be Valentine's Day um, they're essentially New York style cookies um, that were Christmas themed so you had like Christmas sprinkles and the M&Ms in it were red and green for Christmas colors and they go like this that's fine so we're doing essentially that, but instead of red and green m ms it's going to be red and white. And I picked up some little like Valentine's Day love hearts. And then these are just like some pink and white sprinkles. So they're gonna go want it instead. And these are this, the they're not M&M's this time, they're Smarties, because these are actually the candy cane ones. So I'm just getting the recipe up. So I remember how to do them. Again, this is not my recipe, this is a recipe that I use, so I'll have it linked below. Um, it's James Patisserie, very good person. So I'll try and show you, but those are essentially what the cookies look like. So we're just going to modify and tweak them ever so slightly decoration wise. Um, everything else for the recipe is staying exactly the same ingredients wise. Some unsalted butter, 125 grams to be precise. So I'm actually, let's move to the now. I'm actually um, doubling the amount because I want to make double the amount of cookies. Um, but I'll obviously just do it based on how I'm doing it with double the amounts, but I probably won't tell you how much I'm putting in just because that's not what the actual recipe calls for. So I'll just say the ingredients and then we can just go from there. Um, so yeah, so 125 grams unsalted butter is what you would normally need. Um, as we all know, I go with stalk. We need light brown sugar. The recipe calls for 175. Again, I'm doubling that. Um, one egg, that's easy, one egg, um, vanilla extract, I was running out so I've had to pick up more, sorry I should probably come a bit closer shouldn't I, I also apologise for the state of my nails, I'm doing them later today which I'll show you, um, for Valentine's Day and I didn't want to do them and then like have all the dust and everything, um, when I then go to bake so it's just easier if I just do it later and do the baking now. Okie dokie, plain flour, 300 grams. I'm hoping I have enough flour because I need 600 grams. We'll see. If not, we'll see what happens. Um, you then need a baking powder and bicarbonate of soda. Some sea salt, just, yeah, salt. I'm not gonna show you it because it's, you know. Um, and then you need 100 grams milk chalk. This is for the actual cookies. And the recipe calls for dark chocolate as well, but I like to add white chocolate in. And um, I think it will go well with the obviously red and white Smarties. So I've got white chocolate. You can put any chocolate you want to put in it. It's your preference. It doesn't really alter the bake as such. 
And then you need 100 grams, so for this obviously it says green and red M&Ms, um, so you would need 100 grams of the colour specifically you're using, not just like a whole pack, but obviously it's fine for me because I'm using a whole pack. And I've got three of them, so that's more than enough. And then for the decorations, <coughs> you need, um, so the recipe calls for 100 to 150 grams dark and milk chocolate. Um, again, I only have milk and white chocolate, so what I'm going to actually do is because you dunk half the cookie for like decoration then you put sprinkles on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of the milk chocolates into the cookie mix and then I'm going to save all of the white chocolate because I think it will go really nicely having the pops of pink on the white. Again, you can mix match, do it however you want to do it. So that part of the baking process isn't really set in stone. You can kind of do what you want to do. But those are the ingredients. I'm really out of breath from that. I'm not doing well today, guys. I'm really not. Right, hands are washed. I preemptively lined my tray. I'm using a big tray today, not my trusty little nine by nine. Using a big tray. And it's also helpful if you have a cooling rack. I'm gonna set you up and then we can get into it. First step is add unsalted butter and light brown sugar to a bowl and beat, beat it until it's creamy. So I need to do actual maths now to try and work out what the double edge is. So that's gonna be 250. 250? Bloody ridiculous. Right, I'm probably gonna time lapse this bit because yeah, I can't even get the butter open. We'll be back. using a spatula now then to try and mix it together because I ain't got another whisk. Okay, whisk crisis averted. This is what your mix should look like. Pretty stodgy at this point, but that's fine. So we're now adding the eggs. Remember, as always, one at a time, mix it in, add the next. So the recipe calls for one, but I'm gonna be having two because I'm doubling the mix. So as you can see, it's a bit looser, a bit more fluffy, which is what we want. Next step, add the plain flour baking powder by carbon of solder and salt. Let's get them all measured out and then we can sieve it all in. difficult to mix uh, with our hand mixer and it also broke my spatula in the process so that's great I'm down to my last spatula Let's hope he makes it through but yeah it's a very thick mixture and you want to mix it till it is like fully combined we will be putting in the chocolate so I'm gonna dump in all of these oh god if I can get the thing open Now I'm going to add in both our bags of the milk chocolate because I'm saving the white chocolate for the actual dipping. I think that's it good enough. So that's what it's looking like. It looks pretty darn tasty if you ask me. Okay, so now it's all mixed. Um, what we have to do is measure them out into around 120 gram bowls. And I'm just putting them very closely together on a plate because they have to sit in the fridge. Um, if you have a big enough freezer, um, 
sorry, if, if they're going in the freezer, it's half an hour. Um, in the fridge, it's about an hour. Um, I unfortunately don't have space in my freezer, so they will be going in the fridge. So I'm gonna wrap these in cling film and then just pop them in the fridge for an hour and then we can bake them. So I'll see you in an hour. Typically, if you're putting them in the freezer, um, you would preheat your oven now because if they're going in the freezer, they only need to go in for 30 minutes. If you're putting them in the fridge, they have to go in for an hour. So I normally set a half an hour timer just so I know, okay, that's when I have to um, preheat the oven because you need the oven to be on for about 30 minutes. Right, it has been around an hour. So the oven's been preheating for 30 minutes. I have my tray and we're just literally going to bake them in two batches. Um, try not to overload your tray. So I kind of like to do three, three, and then two in the middle. Um, you don't have to worry about squishing them down either. You can leave them in kind of quite the big bulbous balls that they are. And then just one, two in the middle. So kind of set out like that. And then I'm gonna to have to check the recipe. Yeah, so you're preheating the oven to 180. Um, and then you wanna cook them for about 11 to 13 minutes. And then we just have these left over. They'll go back in the fridge while they cook. And then it will be putting them onto a cooling rack. Okie dokie, first batch is coming out. They're big! Oh. Alright, I'm hoping it's going to let me scrape them off because I'm worried. Potentially it might not. Hmm. Issues. So because they are still gooey in the middle, obviously once they cool they'll like harden up. You just want to be real careful when you transfer them. Real careful. Just so they don't like spill open or break. Okay, Google, set timer for 10 minutes. Nice. That is the second batch all done. So they're literally just going to cool down until they're completely cool. And then we can have the fun part of decorating them. So I'll probably catch you in a few hours. I am just starting making dinner. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but we're doing a roast because my husband wanted one. Um, and it's about half three now. So the chicken takes an hour and a half. So it should hopefully be done in time for my husband to come home because he's meant to finish at four but being a zookeeper things can crop up and he never really normally actually comes home at four so i have to give him some leeway of um when dinner's ready so i'm just doing some potatoes and carrots the cookies are pretty much all cooled now, but I think I'm going to wait till after everything's been dished up for the dinner to do them, just because I don't have the biggest amount of surface space. And then we can decorate them and let them set. And then they will be all good. I normally do a Sunday upload but I think I'm going to change it so I do like a Monday at 5pm rather than Sunday at 5pm just because it means if I want to do stuff like this on Sunday I can and I don't have to have the rush of like oh it's got to be edited and done by this time um, because obviously I work Monday to Friday so it's kind of like the weekends anytime I have I think it's not great for me to try and film something and edit it and upload it at the same day for a set time. 
so I think potentially going to change my uploading schedule to just be a Monday because then it means I can do fun stuff like this with you guys and not have to worry about you know having it uploaded for 5 p.m. That is the potatoes down. Now that's a carrot and a half. That is like that's a big old carrot. dinner. Elliot, you want to come help? I'll be there in a second. I'll be there in a second. So we're going to do the cookies. So just melting our white chocolate. And then we can get Duncan and decorating. Hello, we had malfunction. But Elliot's cameraman now. Um, so I match the chocolate, and then all you want to be doing is coating half of a biscuit. So just kind of, you can dunk it if you've got enough, but I found that just smearing it on is the easier way. And then just onto a flat surface, and then Elliot's job is to sprinkle whatever sprinkles he wants or whatever sprinkles you have. So we obviously are Valentine's cookies, so got love heart and pink and all that stuff. That stuff has pink hearts and stars in it as well. Yeah. There you go. Now be careful because it's going to be <laughs> Oh my god, it's like cooking in the toddler. Do you look good? Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to warm along a little bit. I'm gonna move them along. Ooh. You're gonna have to try and find space for me to <laughs> fit them on. Oh, they did that sprinkles, aren't they? I forgot to put the vanilla in when I'm. Um, I was supposed to in the recipe. I added it, but no one else was supposed to. That one can sit there. You should put them back on there, though, won't you? Yeah. Well, you'll have about two thirds coated. Do you look good? Mm hmm. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, I probably should have put that in the cover and for you. Ah, oh, I broke my little whisk and the other spatula today. <laughs> you broke a whisk and a spatula today? Yeah, I broke the whisk and the We're spatula. We're not made of spatulas. I'm going to have to invest in like a, a hand mixer. Not a KitchenAid, don't worry. I'm oh God, that. I was going to say. <laughs> the dream one day. But... Do you not have an electric mixer, whisky thing? No. I thought we had one. No, yeah, that would have been your parents. We'll just see the next time we visit them. I mean, your mum doesn't bake, like, she can't eat anything, so. This is where she she can't eat anything, yes. This is where she My watches. mother doesn't have a mouth, she's a moth. This is where your mother watches this and is like, oh. I'm not a moth. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing, I I encountered the creepy boy. Which, there's, there's more than one moth man in, in the game you're playing. So I was just walking through the forest. You know your Funko Pop? Yeah, that's L a nice Mothman. Literally just was like walking through the forest and just saw him creeping, creepily looking up at me that's, from the bottom of the hill. He was just like... That's good Mothman, that's happy Mothman. And I was like, that's the Mothman um, you like. excuse me, sir. <laughs> it's where he's like an actual full... So I think he I think that he actually is a full dude and the, you can bump into him as the... So, like so, human. so there's two depictions of Mothman. You've got like the Point Pleasant Mothman, the statue, which is him as like an actual guy. And I think that's like not very nice Mothman. And that's then you the have kind song. of the rotund Mothman, the little blob Mothman. He's just round with two big eyes. <laughs> that's what and I that's saw. like the happy Mothman. Like it it was 
I know he wasn't gonna hurt me, but it was still creepy just to like turn around and just see like way off in the distance, just this little thing. Cause he yeah. was like hiding behind a tree as well. It wasn't like he was in the open, he was like... In the Suicide Squad game, um, was like, like before you kill Batman, Batman just is constantly like in random parts of the map and you just, just see him on rooftops staring at you. If you go near him, he disappears. I think we did good. There's only three that aren't covered. Yeah. You wanna show your masterpieces? <laughs> And then, so now you just leave them till they set. It doesn't take that long, like 10 15 minutes. And then they're good to eat. So, yeah, these are our Valentine's cookies. Cookies, yum yum. Have I? Cool. <laughs>